Our big guest tonight, Fred Flights, he's a former Department, uh, State Department, excuse me, National Security Advisor, Chief of Staff, worked under John Bolton at the White House. Fred, great to see you. Hey, John, good to be here. All right. Uh, you also wrote an opinion piece recently where you called on John, John Bolton to withdraw his book and not release it. You argue in part that it would disrupt the functions or the decision-making processes of the executive branch. Now, Fred, in the past, we talked about this before, and you've been very confident that John Bolton would not do anything to damage President Trump. What happened? Well, I'm just saying here that uh, John Bolton has a message. Apparently, he wants to get out. But there's an important principle that presidents have to be able to consult with the most qualified advisors and confide to them and knock ideas around. And, and that information has to be kept confidential, not appear in the press or appear in books. So I'm advising Ambassador Bolton to delay the publication of this book, at least until after the 2020 election. That's what Bob Gates did with his memoirs. He resigned in 2011 as Secretary of Defense, didn't publish his book in 20, until 2014. It's a precedent Ambassador Bolton should follow. There have been a lot of uh, you know, accusations, really, for Javelin, the publicist here, and Simon and & Schuster, the publisher, and working together with a New York Times to coordinate the leaks of the manuscripts of this book. What do you think about that? Well, it's interesting. These New York Times stories are, are uh, running content from the book of a book the reporters haven't seen. Now, I don't think Newsmax would run a story so poorly sourced. But when it comes to Republicans, when it comes to a story that will hurt President Trump, anything goes. And I think uh, there will be a lot of attractions. I doubt very much that Bolton ever complained to Attorney General Barr in the way that you just described. I think there's a lot of other allegations made by anonymous sources of a book the New York Times did not read that will prove not to be true. Yeah, I really was my question. Does that sound like the, the guy that you know, John Bolton, uh, basically spilling the beans on a guy like Attorney General William Barr? The, these two gentlemen, they go back a long time in government together. It doesn't seem like the type of thing that Bolton would do. No, I don't think Bolton did that. I, I don't know where that came from. And look, when you're when you're citing a book that you're not going to show the reporter, you can claim anything. Mm -hmm. And Newsmax, as I said, Newsmax would never run a story so poorly sourced. Right. You know, this is the Comey book here, also the anonymous book. These are this, you know, kind of the same uh, playbook here. Um, last night, also on the Senate floor, Harvard Law Professor Emeritus and Newsmax contributor Alan Dershowitz delivered a defense of President Trump on the Bolton issue. Let's take a listen to that. Nothing in the Bolton revelations, even if true, would rise to the level of an abuse of power or an impeachable offense. And Fred, you know, this gets back to what I was just talking about with Congressman Andy Biggs in Andrew McCarthy's article in the National Review. Even if there were, was a, a, a quid pro quo here, this happens all the time in foreign policy, and that does not make it illegal or even impeachable. Well, I mean, theoretically, if the president said to Ambassador Bolton, I'm thinking of withholding aid to Ukraine because I want an investigation concerning corruption in the 2016 election, ultimately, the aid to Ukraine was delivered and the Ukrainian leadership didn't know a delay was being contemplated. So this was a thought that the president was proposing, and the Democrats want to prosecute him basically for a thought crime as he knocked ideas around with his advisors. So I don't think the president said this, but even if he did say this to his advisors, it was not a policy decision. It was part of a discussion, and you can't prosecute people, you can't impeach people for thought crimes. Yeah, and that seems to be the consensus among Republicans. We'll see if that holds up with this whole witness angle developing still on Capitol Hill. Fred Flight's great to see you as always. We encourage people to check out Fox news.com for the uh, Fred's opinion piece on John Bolton calling him to withdraw his book uh, from publication. Great to see you, Fred. Good to be here, John. All right. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.